The headlines aren't good. The creative and madcap spirit of London's Soho is gradually being lost to property developers and skyrocketing tenancy rates. Even the creative industries, which have propped up the area's bars for more than half a decade, are now upping sticks for West London or the East End. But while Soho's decline may be inevitable, one group of creatives are taking action by turning crumbling street signs into new collections of fonts. Going by the name Lost and Foundry, the group has partnered with Fontsmith to create seven new typefaces inspired by seven Soho street signs. The idea originally sparked from a commercial brief. I had to design some posters that were going to be placed in the alleyway next to the House of St Barnabas whilst the building next door was being renovated. So I walked around so trying to get some inspiration and I took a lot of photographs of, of, of different street signs. It, it became a very natural sort of fit that I would find these typefaces. Initially we found two and then we expanded that into a full range of seven typefaces that we could then sell as, as these entities. We tried to keep the, the spirit of the, of the signs, uh, which was a bit difficult because we only had some letters. But from that and from our experience, we can understand the DNA of the letter shapes and try to replicate it in the rest of the, of the character set. Soho still got that sort of buzz, buzzy, vibrant edge to it, but just about being redeveloped at an absolutely frightening rate, which also drove us to think, well, maybe we should try and preserve something with these typefaces. All proceeds from the sale of the fonts will go towards the House of St Barnabas Employment Programme, which helps those affected by homelessness get back into the job market. Creatives from around the world will be able to use the fonts in their work, but soon it may only be these letters that are the connection between them and the golden years of Soho. Mm -hmm.